hello friends welcome to our youtube channel and in this video we will see how we can visualize this corridor in a better way in the earlier video of the visualization we saw how we added the street lighting along the corridor you know so uh, similarly you can add other linear objects so make sure you watch that video i will put that in the description below if you like it just uh, like it and share with your friends okay so in this video, we will try to uh, make it make this corridor appear better and we'll check it in the drive mode. So without wasting our time, let's go ahead to first check a few things that will help you later. OK, so first we go to the our assembly. First thing what you have to do is understand your assembly and the layers of the assembly. OK, so have to extract the top part. So we have to check uh, Just remember the top part is what is the shape code and uh, this one this is not a big thing but for this we have four layers okay so we have to check which is uh, our top layer so we just extract the top layer we don't need to extract other layers okay so select this and then go to the properties and uh, top layer is pave one okay pave one def so pave one is the top layer so we know it while extracting this will be useful Okay, so that's why you make sure what's your top layer, all your top layer, know about your all your top layer, note it or just remember, and then let's extract the corridor. Okay, so select the corridor, and here on the corridor tools, you have an option called extract the corridor, extract corridor. So click on the extract corridor option, then it will ask you for the range of stress you want to. Or within a polygon or all okay so we do the all for right now we choose all okay and then in this option you have a multiple region okay okay and then you have you can choose it one by one okay so and you see even for the daylight uh, there are four links okay so maybe they are different okay this is the right side and there is this also and this also so you you can extract it there i don't think we have this here uh, so we just click some parts of it uh, and uh, extract it okay so for pavement i'm sure that pave one is the top layer okay so this one i'm sure about others i think uh, are fine we just keep it okay if there's something then it will extract if there's not then it won't extract okay uh, so this one for this lane i just keep it like that so make sure you extract the top part at <laughs> least okay so that it's visible that's the part what we are targeting okay you can even uh so other parts if you just select them you can just visualize that particular part only okay so for this uh for the lane only i'm concerned right now so i just keep the lane okay the pave one is extracted okay so i'll go to next and we'll keep other settings same it's just for you know visualizing and here the based on the corridor sampling we'll keep it like that and insert into the current run you can even uh, create a new drawing to um to you know export it or even you can import export it to the existing drawing okay okay once you add a new drawing then you will have option to choose so just keep it into the insert into the current drawing and you can dynamically link if this one is on it will be dynamically linked to your corridor uh, for now i will just uh, just leave it and extract but make sure you uh, leave it so that you know later when you modify your corridor it modifies with it dynamically linked okay so it's dynamically can modify it okay? so i just extract all it this weight okay now you see the other lines appeared so the solids had been extracted with this selected um with the corridor i i, I will what i will do is now i have that um the solid so i will just hide the corridor select the corridor and then uh isolate object and i will say hide selected okay okay so once it's hidden now we want to drive okay i want to select here and there will be problem so we go to the tool space to select our alignment and let's select the alignment or even we can directly drive to it we have option to drive okay so we click on drive and then it will ask you to select the uh, 
the uh, the profile so we hit enter and i select the design profile and say okay and it will take you to the drive mode okay you see it's pretty cool visualization already without any other you know um changes it's already very good now we can actually uh before before driving through we can actually change the colors also so, okay for this this is an embankment maybe uh, we select right click and we select similar and then select all the embankment part and we can change the color okay so go to the property and we can make it maybe green this green is fine for you or you can select more color and then we can make it a bit darker okay like this and okay for let's say the carriageway part we again select similar and all the carriageway part is selected and we will change the color uh, to make it uh, look like a road uh, maybe this color is fine or maybe this this one will be better okay so this looks fine okay cool hit yeah. it and hit escape okay this looks better so now let's drive through let's uh, play okay you see now this visualization is actually good and uh, it doesn't take a lot of time to do this visualization so hope you guys like the video and that's why share with your friends subscribe to our channel comment